What's going on everybody? Today we're mixing two Kentucky classics, bourbon, barbecue sauce. Putting them together, magic's gonna happen. Let's get into it. So I talked about on the channel before, uh, my family and I used to run this barbecue restaurant, aptly named Lala's Barbecue Company. We did that for six years, and we grew that thing from a tent on the side of the road to a nice, big, 50-seat uh, restaurant. It was a dream, it was a great time, and I wouldn't trade that experience for anything else in the world. One of our biggest sellers at the restaurant was our bourbon barbecue sauce. Bourbon in Kentucky might as well be water. If you're gonna live in Kentucky, you gotta learn how to drink bourbon. Took me a while, I got there. And so over the course of months and months and months of trying and testing and failing, we came up with the best bourbon barbecue sauce recipe on the planet. And today I'm gonna share the really scaled down version with you. Uh, at the restaurant, we used to make it in giant batches. This one is gonna have a reasonable amount of servings for you for the next month, month and a half. Let's get into it. This thing has 16 ingredients in it. And the reason is it takes a lot of layers to make a barbecue sauce taste good. Barbecue sauce essentially is if it's ketchup based, it's fancy ketchup. And the more stuff you add to it, the fancier your ketchup gets, the better the barbecue sauce gets. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat up our stock pot on medium heat. So once your pot is heated up, we wanna add two tablespoons of butter. Melt that down. Be careful not to burn your butter. Browning it is okay, just a little, it's not too dark. Then we're gonna add one sliced onion. We're gonna cook that on medium, medium low heat. This guy is a little hot for me. I'm gonna back it down just a little bit. Break all those pieces up. Now I tried with these onions to cut them all about the same size. This isn't a massive deal with this recipe because we're gonna put them all into our food processor at the end and blend them up. A lot of barbecue sauces call for like onion powder and garlic powder. And while I love those ingredients and I've used them before, I prefer to use real onions and real garlic whenever I can. It's just a better, deeper flavor. All right, so we're gonna let these simmer down for about five minutes. All right, so now that our onions are almost done, we're gonna add our garlic in. We really just wanna sweat the garlic down a little bit. You don't wanna cook the garlic too long because it will burn if you're not careful. And we really don't want the flavor of burnt garlic in our barbecue sauce. We want flavor, not, not that flavor. We're gonna sweat this garlic down 60 seconds to a minute. That made sense. We're gonna sweat the garlic down like 60 seconds minute, two minutes, somewhere in between there, and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients in. All right, now that that stuff's done, we're just adding everything else into the pot. I feel like I'm on an episode of Moonshiners here. You know, does it bubble? You make pretty beans, not real, huh? So we're gonna do a half a cup of Woodford Reserve bourbon. You can use whatever bourbon you like. I will tell you that the higher quality bourbon you use, God, that smells good. The higher quality bourbon you use, the better the flavor is gonna come through as this stuff cooks down. We've tried it with cheap bourbon and we've tried it with this more expensive bourbon and that every time the more expensive bourbon won the taste test. So you do what you wanna do, this is what we do. Now you'll notice that this is a pretty thick sauce. I mean, all we've done is add really thickening agents to it. We can cut it with water to get it down to the your desired consistency. Uh, some people like a thicker sauce, some people like a thinner sauce. You can add more apple cider vinegar to thin it out. Um, this is really where you can customize it to your own specific taste. Don't make this thing just the way I make it. This is how I make it. Uh, what do you want? Do you want it hotter? Do you want it sweeter? It's up to you. Now for me, I start with a half a cup of water and then I simmer this down for about 20 minutes. Check it, if I want it a little thinner, I'll add some more water, just balancing it back and forth. But we're gonna simmer it for the next 20 minutes and then throw it in this food processor. Wish you guys could smell this. It smells incredible. All right, last thing we gotta do here. 
We're gonna take all of this barbecue sauce and put it into our Ninja food processor. I love this thing. Uh, obligatory YouTube link below if you wanna buy it. Uh, I love it, I love all of Ninja's products. Ninja, holla at your boy. I need a new set of pots and pans. Shameless plug. All right, we're going for the reverse pour. Please don't splash. So bad, all over me. Is it gonna fit? The age old question. I'm just gonna scrape everything out of the bottom of the pan here. Get all that goodness right into our food processor. All right, we're gonna take our lid here and pray that we don't make a giant mess. So what I love about this thing, it cooks for me, it thinks for me. It's got the chop, puree, dough, disc. I mean, it shuts itself off. Ninja, well done. And that is it, folks. That is all you need to do to make the best bourbon barbecue sauce in the world. Get ourselves a little tasting spoon here, a little dip. Look at that. I love the consistency here. It's starting to, you see it just fell off the spoon there. And so it's sticking to that spoon, which means it's gonna really do a good job holding onto the meat in the smoker whenever we're cooking something on the green egg. This is awesome. A little taste. Mmm. Mmm. So good. A little sweet, a little spicy. That kick from the bourbon is coming through nicely too. Uh, you guys try this out and enjoy it. If you're ready to watch another video, click right here and check that one out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, which I know you probably haven't, go ahead and freaking subscribe if you like this, man. Subscriptions are my oxygen.